Hello there, you guys. Welcome to our witchy season. Oh my gosh, we're on the verge of witchy, witchy season. Um, it's always witchy season, but uh, fall is coming. And depending on when you're watching this, it may be fall, it may not be fall, but you just might want some fall vibes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down the rabbit hole of the dark side. And we're going to be exploring the minor side of the spectrum for the next few videos. And I've got two really beautiful pieces to show you. So today what we're going to do is we're going to just have a little music theory moment so that you understand the major and the minor. And I'm going to give you two keys to tinker around with for this month. G major and E minor and D major and B minor. So let's just hear those real quick. Here is G major. We're gonna do a music theory moment in a minute, but here is G major. Here's a G drone. looking light. Now on the dark side we have its companion E minor and I will show you how we come to that conclusion in a minute. Here is E. dark side it's a completely different change the vibe is so different when you're in major you're interacting with that happy person in your life when you're in minor you're uh, seeing that happy person on a bad day or just in a more serious day or on a more contemplative day um, you know our human emotions do this you don't have to be a hundred percent happy all the time it's impossible right and so um, one of the things that music does as you know, is it expresses a huge range of human emotions that words can try to capture, image can try to capture, sculpture, architecture, uh, non-architecture, <laughs> books, literature, experience. Um, but for some reason, somehow, music conveys these emotions to us so clearly. The feeling behind the music it's just conveyed to us so clearly. So um, here we have G major, E minor. We're also gonna be exploring D major and B minor. So let's just hear those. We're gonna start with D. So I'm gonna put a little D drone on. D major, we've got that heroic major feel, 
Um, D major for me just feels like really strong. It's the root chakra in my brain. It's very grounded. It's got some fire behind it. It's very grounded. Let's go to its opposite, which is B minor. So I'm going to put a B on. By the way, we're exploring a key signature with two sharps. And like I said, we will get to that in a minute. So I'm going to just start on a B this time. improvisation. Uh, B minor, the dark side, the dark personality of D major, light and dark. That's what we're exploring today and this month. So now that you've heard some major scales, some minor scales, some little noodles around with those, let's do a little music theory moment so we can understand the theory behind all of this. Okie dokie, my sweeties. Let's begin. We're gonna represent the key as a circle. We're gonna start with one sharp. And if you remember the order of the sharps, Father Charlie goes down and eats breakfast. So, Father, that's what this sharp is here. To find the major scale, we're gonna find a half step up from whatever the last sharp is. So since we just have one sharp here, we just have to find a half step higher than F sharp. This is the seventh note of the scale. The last sharp of however many sharps you're dealing with is this is the seventh note of the scale. So the seventh note of the scale's job is to resolve back to one. So what when it's a half step? What's the half step up from F sharp? The next possible note from F sharp? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So on the light side of the spectrum we have G major. The last sharp gives us that. We just find a half step up, and that is the note G here. Now to find the dark side, we always take the six scale degree of the major scale. There are seven distinct notes in a, in a scale, or in at least in a major minor scale. <laughs> um, and the sixth scale degree, if you start and end on that, plug in the same hand patterns and key signature and everything, you have something that sounds minor. So if we just write out our G major scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Here's our six scale degree. It is the note E. So if we just start on, on an E and end on an E, plug in the same key signature, we have something that sounds minor. It's always the sixth scale degree of the key. I'm going to ask you that in a minute because we're going to do another one. So remember that. Remember this, half step up, and remember the this is how you find the minor. Okay, so E minor. So I'm going to just start on an E. Remember we have an F sharp. Go up the scale, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So this is now your E minor scale. There are three different kinds of scales, music theory pro moment. <laughs> um, this is called the natural minor scale. So you can just remember it's all natural, it's organic, it's uh, all in itself, it hasn't been tweaked at all. Um, but if you want to make it sound extra fabulous and spooky, I love this sound of the harmonic minor. The harmonic minor raises the seventh scale degree, creating an augmented second between six and seven. Da 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 dee da 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 dee da da. It's so 
spooky sounding. Love the harmonic minor. So that would be up here as an accidental. You'd have a C natural followed by a D sharp in your music. You'd still have one sharp in the key. That's the harmonic minor. To get rid of this augmented second, we raise the six and raise the seven. So C sharp and D sharp going up the scale. This is the melodic minor. So often when you're playing music that's in minor, you're gonna have a lot of accidentals because you're using all different kinds of facets of the minor scale. So on the way up the scale, we have C sharp, D sharp, we raise six and seven. And then when we come down, we play the natural minor, which doesn't tweak these. So it just goes back to its regular key signature going down, which just has an F sharp. Da, 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 da. Da, and then lower them. Da, 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 da. That's the melodic minor. Let's review. Natural minor hasn't tweaked anything. Harmonic minor tweaks the seventh, raises the seventh. Melodic minor raises six and seven to get rid of the augmented second. On the way up, you raise it a half step, and on the way down, it's the natural minor. So whatever your key signature is. That's how you come down the scale. Okay, so that is the magical key of G major and E minor. And I would love for you to practice these scales this month. Um, get to know the hand patterns on every string. Make a practice of playing these scales. If you're in G major, put a G drone on in the background. If you're in E minor, put an E drone on in the background and get to know the story behind these scales. In our group classes, we will be jumping down this rabbit hole together, so we'll kind of go a little bit further in depth, perhaps, with these scales. So let's do the other scale we're gonna be exploring this month. We're exploring it because I found two really lovely pieces for you, and they are both using this key, or at least I put them in this key. So the other key we're gonna do is two sharps. Let's draw our circle, shade in one side for the minor, and then leave the other side light for the major. We're gonna have two sharps. What's the acronym again? Father Charlie goes down and eats breakfast. Father Charlie. Now to find the light side of the spectrum, we need to find, what was that interval again? to find a half step up from the last sharp. So let's count together, starting on A. A, B, C, D. So D is the next note after C, right? Or C sharp. So that gives you D major over here. And then to find the minor, do you remember the scale degree we have to find? the sixth scale degree. So let's write out the D major scale. Remember we have Father Charlie, we have two sharps. So I'm gonna just write out D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. We'll put in our scale degrees. And I'm gonna underline six, which is the note B. Let's put a B there. And we're gonna just call the dark side B minor. Not B flat. B flat refers to the note. B minor refers to a quality of many notes, or three notes at least. So B minor, we're going to start on the note B, plug in our two sharps. We have a C sharp, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. And we'll put in our scale degrees. Okay, who remembers that there are three different kinds of minor scales? We started with this is this one, which we've written down. It's all natural, it's organic, it just came out that way. Remember what that one's called? The natural minor. This is the natural minor. If we were to just raise the seventh scale degree, a half step, if you go up, that gives you the magical one. Remember, that's my favorite one. The magical one is my favorite one. 
the witch, <laughs> the witchy vibes. Um, so you would have an A sharp appearing as an accidental in the music, and that would be following the note G because G to A sharp gives you this fabulous augmented second. Side note about augmented second. These notes are a second because they are consecutive alphabetical, alphabetical letters. G, and then you have A. A third, because A sharp's other name is B flat, this could also be one and a half steps written as G to B flat. But if we called this G B flat, we've skipped A. So we have to call it an augmented second because it is a second. It's written a G to A something. So it's a, some kind of second. But it's actually bigger than a whole step, so it's bigger than a major second by a half step. So it's augmented, augmented second. This is the harmonic minor. Da 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 It started to rain outside. I don't know if you can hear the rain. It's like pouring rain suddenly. It's magical. So this is the harmonic minor. Last one, remember what the last one is? We have to do something to six because we have to get rid of that augmented second. This one's called the melodic minor. It's kind of more melodious. It's not as like in your face as the spooky harmonic minor is. So we have to raise the six and the seven as we go up the scale. These are appearing as an accidental. They're not in your key signature. Your key signature has two sharps. These are just accidentals in the music. We raise those on the way up and then we lower them on the way down, giving you the natural minor on the way down. Okay, so our first key that we're studying is G major and E minor with an F sharp. And then the other key that we're gonna be studying this month is D major and B minor, which has two sharps, Father Charlie. Okay, so just one more time, we're gonna get the hand patterns for these keys. We're gonna practice them with a drone on whatever the first scale degree is to really get to know the story and the vibe Get to know the vibe of this scale. Um, maybe you can assign it a color, a feeling, an emotion, like uh, describe the scenery, the picture that it puts in your mind. Get to know the scale. Um, and then when I see you next time, we're going to be exploring some beautiful pieces. Um, and we might even make our own little song to understand it more, but I want to show you a magical piece to start with. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in some of our group classes, I hope. And thank you so much for watching. Happy fall.